All right, this is the Greenworks product that started it all. The, uh, it's, it's coming off. The uh, 40 volt lithium uh, lawnmower. So for this I had a Black & Decker, a lot bigger and heavier and harder to move around, but this one's good for what we have now, which is a very, just a small lawn in the back. So this lawn needs some help, it needs to be reseeded some, but today the job is just to uh, mow it. And this mower, uh, I've had it for quite a while now, at least uh, three, four, five years maybe, can't remember actually. But um, uh, the blade is starting to get pretty dull, so I could get it sharpened, but uh, usually when I've done sharpening things like this, it's cheaper just to buy a new one. So that's what I did. So this is a 16 inch mower. And I was careful to buy the 16-inch uh, mower blade from Greenworks. I'll open up this package. So if you don't have some scissors like this for opening these uh, packages, you should get some because they can really save your fingers. They have an offset offset uh, scissors, so your fingers don't get anywhere close to that sharp plastic. So you should, should be able to cut off just uh, two sides of this. That'll be enough to get it out usually. Cut off one more side. Probably could get it now, but it's a little easier if you cut it all the way off. I got these scissors quite a while ago. They're called Open It. I want to see you've seen on TV. Uh, they're pretty good. They also have this little utility knife on the back, which pops out. That's good for opening up boxes when you get them uh, from uh, delivery services. So. All right. So here's our. New mower blade. It's got a nice sharp edge on it, and uh, it shows the direction of travel, so that's good. So we'll flip this uh, mower over, and then we'll see what the bottom looks like and how we swap it out. With the other one, I had to uh, use a piece of ply, uh, a two by four, to block to stop it from turning, so I could actually unscrew it. So well, here's here's the standard uh, uh, battery that comes with the mower. So that's that's the first battery I got. Right, flip it over, and then we'll uh, see what's underneath here. Okay, so there's the mower blade. There's the mower blade. That's pretty good. So of course, make sure the battery isn't in it when you're using it. There's also a dead a, a kill switch that I. A plug I should probably should pull out. This makes it even safer. But since there's no battery in there, I think it should be all right. All right. So to unscrew this uh, nut here, we're going to use a uh, a uh, adjustable crescent. This is a 10 inch adjustable crescent wrench. I probably have the exact. Uh, uh, I probably have the exact uh, size of this one, but I don't think I'm not. It's not gonna, it's not worth finding out what it is, I don't do this very often, so. So we're going to use this plywood, see if this will go under the blade, to brace it, and then we've got to unscrew this. I might need to reverse, reverse thread it. I'm going to try and reverse thread it. Because they spin, and they spin in this direction, so they need to unscrew in this direction. Otherwise, they'll unscrew when they're... <laughs> when they're turning, so we're gonna try. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna try. Uh, it would normally be tightening the screw. Try to loosen it. I don't know if this one seems like it's getting tighter, so okay, we'll try it the negative way. Lefty loosey. It's definitely loosening. Let's make sure we're still. All right, there you go. So it's definitely loosening. There's, there's a little leaf there, so. All right, so it's lefty loosey, righty tighty, like a normal screw. It's not really lock tight or anything on this, so it's okay. Okay, so we have our screw. It's got the knurled uh, base on it, so it has some friction. It doesn't come loose. We tighten it. We've got this plate. 
metal plate, same there. Make sure it's not right there. So we've got this plastic spacer. So make sure you save that. I see. This has this uh, little cutout, so you can make sure you put it in the right direction, so it's, as they say, sailor proof. Okay, so that comes off. Let's look at the old blade. Uh, it's got some pitting on it, on the edge. Yeah, like I said, I could get this sharpened, but since I use my mower that much, I'll just get a new one. Okay, so let's make sure we put it in the same direction. This this was the bottom of it, like this. Okay, so the bottom, yeah, so the directional things go face up. Like this. So all the, all the lettering on there, that's the side you want to face up. Okay, it's got a half moon and a circle. We'll put our spacer back on. Like this. We'll put our metal metal washer on here. So now this has a flat side, and so there's flat sides on the bolt. Let's make sure we're down. Keep track of which way the plastic uh, spacer goes. That would make sense. I didn't do that. Okay, so then this can come down and engage with the flat sides of the bolt. Yeah, okay. All right, let me put our screw back on. And I can just hand tighten it by holding it. metal washer square, the square washer, keep it square so it lines up with the flat sides of the bolt. Alright, so now that's, I don't want to try to hold this any more without using this uh, brace here. Okay, this is a simple 2x4 where I cut out a part here. Actually, it was already cut out for another reason. I was doing something else and I said, oh yeah, that would work perfect for this. Okay, so we're tightening it up. I'm gonna make sure this is super tight. I don't want to come in loose. There. All right, so I made sure it was super tight. And then we'll uh, take it out for a spin, as they say. Uh, and we'll see how we do. So, some of the other features of the mower I like got dead man switch. You push this, to, you gotta get it to turn on. You push this button down and pull this handle. You have to hold this handle. As soon as you release this, it turns off. So, if you faint or something else, then you're safe. And it can also, uh, the handle can collapse by just releasing these quick release buttons and just folding this over. So if you don't have enough room in your shed, you can get that to be quite a bit smaller. So that's nice. And it's also got an adjustable uh, uh, height, got a height adjustment. Let's go down a little bit lower for that. So you can easily adjust the height just by using a stick shift. So I, when I do the lawn, I'm on two. When I do the karapi in front, I'm usually on four. I think I'm on four, yeah, or maybe five. So with Carapia, I'm I'm, I'm I'm cutting over the edge of the the edging and some other things. I want to make sure I don't hit anything. So it's, it also has uh, has uh, concrete as part of the edging. So I make sure I don't hit that. So, but for the lawn, I usually keep it pretty low, down to two. All right, let's get this thing fired up. Well, then I'll show you how to put the battery in. So the battery goes in this compartment. Here's the uh, kill plug. So if this is out, it can't run. So I should have had that out when I was changing the uh, blade, but I knew the battery wasn't in it. So this just snaps in. 
It's a little hard to get out. You have to kind of wiggle it. It's, in the, it's a little hard to get back out, but this this cover keeps it from getting, uh, you know, uh, law, blades of grass and other stuff on it, so it keeps it safe. Now, I, I don't need the battery in it when I'm not mowing. I always put it back in the charger. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming, and if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signi signing out, and keep looking up.